Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain current affairs of 6th October. Without wasting much time, let's get into the video. The first question for the day is Dalek Kusani, the famous chili based the famous chili based on which state got GI tag recently? The correct answer is Sikkim. On the basis of an application filled by North Eastern Regional Agricultural Marketing Corporation and Limited, that is North Eastern Regional Agricultural Marketing Corporation Limited, that is NARA MAC. N E R A M E C, sorry. That is North Eastern Regional Agricultural Marketing Corporation Limited. On behalf of Sikkim, the red cherry pepper chili of Sikkim, Dale Kursani, got or earned the GI tag from DPIIT, that is Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. It is considered as one of the hottest chili in the world with medicinal values. Therefore, Dale Kursani is from Sikkim. This chili got GI tag and this chili is from Sikkim. The next question is the airport in which state or union territory become airport authorities of India's first 100% solar powered airport. The correct answer is Puducherry. That is option number one. Therefore Puducherry airport converted into 100% solar powered airport. This cost around 2.8 crores. The converting of airport into solar powered airport is equivalent to plant 32,850 trees. Therefore, the first solar powered airport is Puducherry. The next question is Which state or union territory has launched anti pollution campaign named Yut Prashuddhan Ke Virud? The correct answer is first option Delhi. Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister of Delhi, launched a mega anti pollution campaign Yut Prashuddhan Ke Virud. This is to reduce pollution levels in Delhi. And Chief Minister announced that Green Delhi app, that is Green Delhi app. will also launch shortly and this app is a photo based complaint app the next question is which country has declared phonic settlement in the country as national heritage site the correct answer is the fourth option that is fourth option sorry south africa Therefore, South African government declared phonic settlement in Durban, in Durban as national heritage site on the 151st birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. And Indian Commissioner Jaydeep, Sik Jaydeep Sarkar welcomed the announcement regarding the phonic settlement. Therefore, South African government declared phonic settlement in the country as national heritage site. This is to mark or this is to celebrate the 151st birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. The next question is, which company has launched Android mini app store for Indian developers? The correct answer is Paytm. Second option. Therefore, the Paytm company has launched Android mini app store for Indian developers. This move will further intensify the tussle between fintech major and tech gain Google. The next question is Madhabi Puribuch, the first whole time member of which organization has got one year extension? The correct answer is SEBI, Securities and Exchange Board of India. Madhabi Puribuch is the first whole time woman member of Securities and Exchange Board of India got one year extension and the appointments committee of the cabinet that is ACC appointment committees of the cabinet headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has approved this extension. Therefore she is from Securities and Exchange Board of India. Therefore she got one year extension. And this extension was head, uh, was headed or given by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. 
the next question is who is the first indian bureaucrat to be honored with indo american chamber of commerce covid crusader award 2020 first indian bureaucrat to receive the award is iqbal singh chahal he is the municipal commissioner of municipal corporation of greater mumbai he honored with the award covid crusader award 2020 he received the award under the indian bureaucrat category for his contribution towards contro controlling the spread of covid 19 in mumbai maharashtra therefore iqbal singh chahal got the award covid crusader award 2020 and the next question is who among the following next question who among the following is conferred with indo american chamber of commerce lifetime achievement sorry lifetime achievement award the answer is ratan tata the indo american chamber of commerce that is iacc indo american chamber of commerce conferred iacc lifetime and global excellence awards to ratan tata for his pioneering role in business relations of india and united states for his lifetime achievement in global leadership the next question is Harvey J. Alter, Charles M. Rice and Michael Houghton has won 2020 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for discovering of which virus? The correct answer is Hepatitis C virus. The head of the Nobel Committee, Thomas Perlman, announced the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2020 to jointly to two Americans and one Britisher. Name Harvey J. Alter and Charles M. Rice and one British-born scientist named Michael Houghton for discovering the hepatitis C virus. This is a major global health problem that causes cirrhosis. Cirrhosis and liver cancers. And liver cancer. Therefore, by discovering hepatitis C virus, these two Americans and one Britisher got the Nobel Prize award for in medicine or physiology. The next question is, who addressed the international webinar on textile traditions which was organized by ICCR and UPID on theme weaving relations and textile traditions? The correct answer is Narendra Modi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the first of its kind international webinar on textile traditions organized by ICCR that is Indian Council for Cultural Relations and Uttar Pradesh Institute of Design. The theme of the internal, international webinar was weaving relations and textile traditions. This webinar was organized to exchange the ideas and sharing of best practices among weavers from different countries and also to enable the creation of new avenue for collaborations. The next question is, name the nuclear capable surface to surface missile which was successfully tested recently at Abdul Kalam Island test in Odisha. The correct answer is Sovia. DRDO that is Defense Research and Development Organization successfully successfully test fired a new version of indigenously developed hypersonic nuclear capable Saurya missile from Abdul Alam Island test train Odisha therefore Saurya got this award that is auction number two India successfully tested surface to surface supersonic cruise missile that is Brahmos and Saurya a surface to surface medium range missile Shaurya is also considered as one of the top 10 missiles in the world in its class as per DRDO, that is Defense Research and Development Organization. Next question is, DRDO successfully, DRDO successfully, test, DRDO successfully flight tested the anti-submarine weapon system smart from Wheeler Island. What is so recently? What does S stands for? S stands for supersonic. That is supersonic missile assisted release of torpedo. That is smart. S-M-A-R-T. That is supersonic missile 
assisted release of torpedo the next question is which country planned to send world's first mining robot asteroid mining robot into space by november 2020 the correct answer is first option that is china asteroid mining robot into space by november 20 to identify and extract resources this therefore and i triple spectrum report stated that origin space beijing based company is set to send world's first mining robot into the space this is this robot is sending into the space by november 2020 and this is to identify the extract resources the next question is who authored the book titled discovering the heritage of assam correct answer is kumar padmapani porra jitendra singh union minister of state and the development of north eastern region released a coffee table book on discovering the heritage of assam this book was released by jitendra singh and the book was written by kumar padmapani porra and the book title is discovering the heritage of assam the next question is Haji Hussein Ansari who passed away recently in October 2020 was the minister of minority welfare of which state the correct answer is jharkhand Haji Hussein Ansari he is the minister of minority welfare of jharkhand he passed at the age of 73 at medanta hospital in ranchi he passed due to cardiac arrest of the recovering from covid 19 he is from jharkhand he passed away at the age of 73 due to cardiac arrest the next question is pradeep maharthi who passed away recently was the mla from which state the correct answer is odisha he is the member of legislative assembly and former odisha minister pradeep maharthi also known as natu bai he is known as natu bai he is from odisha he died at the age of 65 after tested positive covid positive he is from odisha and the next question is when was world animal day observed annually the correct answer is october 4th world annual animal day is annually observed on 4th october this is to enhance the status of animals to improve the welfare standard of animals around the world and to celebrate the relationship of animals and human beings therefore the world annual animal day was observed annually on october 4th the next question is What is the theme of the World Space Week 2020 which was observed between October 4th and 10th? The correct answer is satellites improve life. The largest annual space event in the world that is World Space Week is celebrated annually from October 4th to October 10th. And the theme will be the theme of satellites improve life is the theme for WSW that is World Space Week the theme for 2020 is satellites improve life and the theme for 2021 is women in space this is the theme for 2020 that is women's world space week i'm so sorry guys WSW is world space week and the theme for 2020 is satellites improve life and the theme for 2021 is women in space women in space is the theme for 2021 the next question is what is the theme of wildlife week 2020 which was celebrated from october 2nd to 8th the correct answer is the fourth option that is roar and revive exploring human and animal relations wildlife week is annually celebrated across india between 1st october and 8th october with an aim to protect preserve the flora and fauna of india the first wild week was observed in 1957 under the theme roar and revive exploring human and animal relationships the next question is 
International Teachers Day was observed every year on which date? That is October. Sorry, correct answer is October fifth. World Teachers Day was also known as International Teachers Day is observed annually on October fifth to celebrate the teaching professional around the world and also to provide an opportunity to consider issues issues related to teachers and teaching. The theme of twenty twenty is teachers leading to leading in crisis and reimagining the future. The next question is. Who has launched the first of its kind report titled Economic Valuation of Ecosystem Services, National Geological Park, New Delhi? The correct answer is the option number one that is Prakash Javadekar. Prakash Javadekar launched a title, launched a report of the Central Geo Authority and the Energy and Resources Industries titled Economic Valuation of Ecosystem Services, National Geological Park, New Delhi. This is the first of its kind report on the importance of the juice, juice of the well-being of humans. And the next question is the UN World Habitat Day 2020 was observed on 5th October. What is the theme of the World Habitat Day 2020? The correct answer is option number two: housing for all, a better urban future. The theme of the World Habitat Day 2020 is housing for all a better urban future the global observation of the day will be hosted by the city of surabaya indonesia it will be hosted in surabaya indonesia indonesia and the theme of the event is housing for all a better urban future the last question for the day is enigma chani day which was observed in western Ghats recently is the new family of pony fish sorry Sorry, guys, the correct answer is the first option that is bony fish. The team of scientists from Germany, United Kingdom, and Switzerland and India discovered a new family of bony fish in the Western Ghats in Kerala. The new family is named Enigma Chennide. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you found the video useful, share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.